Nichol, Steven Jackson is back, Paul Pierce is back, and look who came to hang out, Mr. Seven Rings himself, Big Shot Robert Ori. And, and I'm supposed to read the promo lines that Steal a Game, Steal a Taco is back, but let's be honest, exactly. if you're looking at his jacket, you must be aware that you are here for Taco Bell. Exactly. They told me you were showing up today in a taco suit, and I gotta be honest, I was like, is it a taco suit? Or is it a taco, taco suit? suit? Yeah. I'm pleased that it's just a suit <laughs> taco jacket. jacket. Exactly. Yeah, right. You know, it's just you know, a little promotion for Taco Bell. Still a game. Yeah. Which might be possible coming up soon. That's still a game. absolutely true. And mm -hmm. you got a little flair there of your own there with yeah, the kerchief. It's, it's good. And it's Dorito, Doritos taco, too. So that's <laughs> exactly. That ain't from a Mexican melt. That's, that's from the Mexican melt you got to yeah. get. Right. <laughs> Later in the show, we'll be discussing Paul's clothing choices, including his sunglasses. Nice. Right? Hey, we're outside. We're hanging. We are, we right are somewhat lake. outside. Mm -hmm. It's good. Right hey, lake. Stack Jack said earlier, the truth can the do truth. it. Whatever you want. You Whatever you want. <laughs> there you go. All right. We should probably talk a little basketball here on this show. And I got to say, if there was any doubt last night cleared it up, this is not a rematch of last year's finals. This Warriors group with Kevin Durant, it's just a totally different team. And seeing them measured against Cleveland only emphasizes how that extra ingredient has affected the whole rest of the recipe. It's not just that Golden State now has by far the NBA's most complete roster. It's that it has the largest margin for error. Turn over the ball 20 times? Yep. It just doesn't matter. KD's presence has made it so much easier for every other Warriors player on the floor. It's like he walked around the locker room handing everyone their own personal cheat codes. And when you make things easier for Steph Curry in particular, oh boy. After the game, Draymond Green said this is the most locked in he has ever seen either Steph or KD. And that, quote, it's personal for both of them. So that's comforting for Cleveland fans. Even less comforting that the Cavaliers discovered last night their margin for error is zero. Cleveland put together a relatively complete game. LeBron James was just a wrecking ball as he delivered yet another triple-double. And again, it didn't really matter. Take a look at the defense. The Cavaliers try on Kevin Durant here just before halftime. This is a great example. All this time they put in, work put in, decent defense. They go Durant into a shot that he doesn't end up being able to make. All of that effort. And then, well, Shumpert with the mental error leaks out, leaves Durant, who grabs the rebound, and knocks in the shot so easy that in a split second, all of that effort and work from the Cavaliers was just for nothing. I can't say for sure what's going to happen as the series moves to Cleveland, because as a rule, I don't make predictions about sports. It's the fun in sports that we don't know what's about to happen. But I do know that all the people saying, there is no way a LeBron James team would get swept at this point in his career, I'm not sure they understand LeBron might not have much of a say in this here. Mm -hmm. He is playing a team that can make mistake after mistake and still win. That is new from last year. And at least so far, it is deadly. So Robert, do you think that it is too soon to talk sweep? I think it's way too soon because anything can happen. You know, a step on a foot. You know, do anything. That's injuries, true. injuries play a major part in basketball. A random suspension. A exactly. You never know. People. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and plus, Cleveland's going home. They're going to have a lot of energy, a lot of emotions in that game, and that can push them through to getting that win. So I, I don't. It's too early to talk sweep. You know, you have to wait when you're down 3-0, then you can talk sweep. I agree. I mean, Cleveland is the defending champs. We forget, and they're on their home floor. All Golden State did was take care of business at home. So now Cleveland. It didn't feel like more than that well, to you? Well, they, they made a statement. I mean, they played well. Golden State is one of the best home teams over the last three years record-wise. So Cleveland has to go home, gather themselves, not panic, and say, hey, we got to take it one at a time right now. That's all it's about. It's too, way too soon to talk sweet. We've all been played in the finals one game at a time. We are, they still have LeBron James, the best player in the world in my mind. And um, – you still, you gotta respect him and, and give him and give him that fair shot. What they done last year was was unbelievable and epic, and uh, they going home today to their home arena. They got a chance to get a win one game at a time. Okay, see if you're gonna throw that whole all three of us have rings thing at me. There's not that much I can do. To <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try to play devil's advocate with you though, Stephen. Yes, I agree. LeBron James, he is the guy, right? And we will get into it in a minute, Paul Pierce, about how good LeBron James is versus the rest of the NBA. But <laughs> the point is, I'm not sure what else you want him to do. Right. When, I, I when you sit there that. and say, oh, LeBron's not going to let them get swept or they still have LeBron James. Okay, LeBron did everything. Right. I mean, look at him. Yeah. He did everything for them. Right. It 
didn't seem to matter. It doesn't feel like it's enough. Well, and you're right. What more can he do is the question. But the other guys got to contribute. They not. They seem like they're cool on winning their last year. Like, I'm just cool. We won last year. I really don't care about this year. And that's how they played. Is that what you they're, feel? That's how they played to me the first two games. Nobody played with a sense of urgency. Nobody played like, okay, we in the finals. We have a chance to go back to back. LeBron played like that. But like you said, what, what more can he do? I mean, you are the expert at that. <laughs> so, I mean, w when you are not the number one headliner on a team, but still they, can't, they cannot win without you. you. You were the one who made them win some of those games. How do you become one of those kinds of role players? One of the things is you have to be confident in yourself. You look at those guys. They're like they're not playing with any confidence. They're sitting back and saying, okay, we're going to let LeBron do his thing. He's going to let Kawhi do it. I mean, uh, Kyrie do his thing, and, and, and they're not doing what they're supposed to do. And they, they said they're sitting back. And you can't do that and let the stars. you got to go to the stars and say, yo, man, get me involved. I would go to Kobe and say, dude, give me a shot. Let me feel like I'm in, so you're going to need me down the stretch. Mm -hmm. Get me involved some type of way. And you also have to go to the coaches because sometimes stars, they will try to take over a game and think they can do it on their own. Mm -hmm. But as a player, you got to say, yo, dude, you ain't got to do it on your own. Let me help you out. It'll make it easier on you the next play down. So they got to be. They got to talk in that locker room and work some things.